uh, we are going to go ahead and have we have an exercise this week, but we're also going to be talking about about the project. Um, rather than splitting that up into another video, it just makes sense to to do that right here. Uh, so with our project, and if you're following along at home, watching these videos, please, you know, go ahead and if you have a personal project that you're interested in working on, go ahead and, and use it. Uh, go ahead and, and start developing on it. The, the, the quicker you start working on your own project, the quicker it's going to be done. You're going to make headway. You're going you're gonna to learn things. So uh, in general, we want at least one model, model capable of doing CRUD. So that's create, read, update, delete on the web. And um, we, it'd be nice if you had the ability to log in slash sign up. You can use the devise library for that. That'll give you some experience also using open source libraries and using their documentation. Uh, maybe having to Google around if you get some, some problems or, or issues that you run into. If you add a chart or a graph, that would be great. If you have custom layout and style sheet, even better. So uh, you can use pagination. It's very, very common. Uh, use will paginate. It's a library, and you'll need to look up the documentation for that. If you use Ajax, which we will be doing both Ajax and a custom chart inside of our exercise in just a little bit. Um, or if you're a student in the class, you, then you can always ask me and say, hey, there's this really hard thing I want to do, and I think it's worth a lot of points. Uh, but anyway, the, the, the whole point is that if you don't have something that you're actually interested in building, all of this knowledge isn't really worth anything. Everything that you've been, been learning, even if it's, you know, even if you want to build, uh, uh, you know, a quote a day app or a, a, the fart app or like what just whatever your passion is if you if you build that thing and you have something to actually work on then you you know that's how we learn we learn out of necessity and if you if you need if you want to build something then as you are learning these new things you're learning oh I learned something new about active record you can turn around and you can use it if you don't use it you won't remember it and that's just really all there is to it when I first got started I w ran through a number of rails books and um, back in yeah, back in like the zero point nine nine days. Uh, number one, all of the books were constantly changing, constantly outdated, uh, just because it Rails moved faster than the book publishers did. But second of all, if I didn't have something that I wanted to build, then I never would have gotten through it. I I would have just said, oh well, forget it. You know, I already learned this once. Why you know why am I gonna why am I gonna learn this again? Um, and whenever I learned something, I would immediately be able to turn around and use it. Uh, so if you don't have any ideas, you can maybe make a blog, you can make a shopping cart, a social news site like Reddit, really anything that you want. The important thing is that you are interested in it and you want to see it, uh, see it be output. So if it's kind of a, you know, joke little web app, if you're excited about it, then go for it. Um, I highly recommend, you know, try to brainstorm, talk to your friends. Maybe if you're at work, like, is there a, a tool that you really hate that you would love to replace with a website? Then, you know, maybe don't, if, if you're going to do that, I wouldn't announce that to everyone, just maybe work on it quietly. And then if you ever do get that, uh, you know, crush it with this amazing web app, then you can be like, hey guys, look what I did. And everybody will be uh, clapping and being like, oh wow, that's awesome. But, uh, so for next week, you should have your site proposal. This is what you're going to be working on and a site sketch. So this is just a rough kind of like wireframe almost of, you know, what you want your site to kind of look like. It's important to get these things down on paper before we start writing any code. Um, we also want user stories. This is going to be like Richard visits the web page and then he logs in and then he goes and browses all of the products and then he selects one and he purchases it. And when he purchases it, it goes into a shopping cart. That would be an example of a user story, kind of maybe a little complex. Uh, but it's just to give you a better idea of how people will use your website. Um, once you Again, once you start getting into the code, it, you're going to get you know very laser focused on individual lines of code, individual HTML. And it's going to be difficult to take that step back. So if we take that step back before you even get started, you'll have a great overview and you'll know how uh, how to move forwards. Um, so yeah, a user signs in, then they see a list of products, and you know that's an example of user story. So this is an example of a site sketch. It doesn't have to look pretty, doesn't have to look great. Uh, just you know, you say, hey, I I know what I want to put on my site. Some people even start with the mobile version first if that's that's your thing. 
so all right, for this exercise, we are going to be working on JavaScript. You can go to schneems.com, or sorry, github.com slash schneems slash ruby underscore javascript underscore data viz. And we're going to be working on some data visualization. Thank you very much for sticking around. I hope you learned something.